Step 3. Record the data of the process object step response. That means, based on the input and output of your process object operating point, we give the control signal change from your controller, and then record the system behavior of your process object. Record the control signal as well as the process value of your process object. Record this step response. Currently, this system is working under a stable status. Now, the control signal to this system that is 25%, and feedback that is 43 centigrade. And this 25 control signal and 43 centigrade, that is the operating point of this system. The curve looks has a lot of noise, but actually, if you look at the left axis, uh, the data actually is around 43. Now the system is in a stable status, but after this, I will adjust this output control from 25 to 15. That means the fan speed will slow down, and after this, the process temperature will increase. Basically, I change 10% on my control output signal, and then record the behavior of this process object. Now I'm changing the output from 25 to 15. And after the change, and after a couple of seconds, we can see the temperature is going higher. That time, we need to record all those data. Meantime, you also need to define what the sample time of your record. In my system, I'm using the two seconds as my sample time. And then, let's wait for the system reach into its uh, new stable status. Basically, the process value reached to a flat status. From we give a new control signal till the system reach to a new stable status, we need to record all those data, both the control signal and the process value. And now I'm changing from 15 to 25. Increase the fan speed, and the temperature of my system will decrease. Basically, I give a two-step response. One is uh, make the system temperature going higher, and one is uh, decrease the temperature. And eventually, that is the whole change of my temperature process. As we can see, the initial of my output, that is the 25, and I decrease the, the 25 to 15 analog output. And after that, I increase the, the output from 15 to 25. So the temperature changing from 43 to 49.5 and decreased back to 43, basically. During this entire transition, I'm recording the data, both the output control signal and the input process value. And keep in mind, record your sample time value. In my system, that is the two seconds. To record the online process data, we can use the HMI data record function, or we can use the data record function built in into your process controller. In my system, I'm using S7-1200 controller. This controller has a built-in function that can record the data, and data can be recorded as a CSV file. Like shown in the screen, we can log in using the IP address and log in the web page built-in into this controller and shift to the date logs, this uh, item, and download the file archived as a CSV file. And after I download this uh, CSV file, I will copy the input data and output data into two individual files. For example, the feedback temperature, I call it a Y underscore fan. That is a temperature data, and that is a TXT file. Eventually, we will prepare the control signal data and the process value feedback data into two individual files, like shown in the screen, and land up the data as this. That is a TXT file. Those two files will be imported into the MATLAB identification toolbox for the system identification. We will talk about in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.